Hi everyone, this is Suzanne Wagner and I do a monthly tarot spread with different decks of cards and it's called the Intuitive Patterns for the Month and this one is going to be for September 2023. The cards um, in the Aleister Crowley Tarot deck are Gain, Prudence, the Tower, and the Emperor. The words of truth are Exhaustion, Change, Intention, and Spirit. The Mayan Oracle is Adventurer's Quest, Men, and the Rhythm card. The Medicine cards are the Wolf, the Lynx, and the Lizard. The Ancient Egyptian Tarot is the Prince of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Six of Discs. The Osho Zen Tarot is Control, Turning In, and the Mind. And the Healing Earth Tarot is the Four of Feathers, the Empress, and the Seven of Rainbows. So, I like to kind of do a quick synopsis of this. And so with the Gain card, the Prudence card, the Tower card, and the Emperor card, it says, well, we're going to have to be patient because a lot of craziness is going to happen, a lot of upsets, a lot of unexpected things, and they could cost some money. And there are going to have to be powerful people and powerful authorities coming in to help because it's going to be a little bit of a rough ride. In the Exhaustion, Change, Intention, Spirit cards, it tells us that, yep, it's tiring. Yes, we have to change. Yes, we have to look at our intentions through the eyes of our spiritual side, not necessarily our mind. And then we have the Adventurer's Quest, the Men and the Rhythm card. And this says we have to find the flow. We have to find the rhythm because we're on a grand adventure. We don't know exactly where we're going. So we need to keep looking up for the inspiration rather than look necessarily what's in front of us because it could feel overwhelming. And then we've got Wolf, Lynx, and Lizard. Wolf is, you're going to need your clan. You're going to need your family. It's important. Lynx says, we have to see beyond the obvious. And Lizard says, remember to listen to your dreams. Then we've got the Prince of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Six of Discs. It seems that, yes, storms are all around us. We're kind of in the center of the storm at the moment. But there's a lot of disappointment and a lot of sadness and a lot of vain regret. A lot of people are letting go of a lot of things. And the Six of Discs says we have to just learn to dance. Even if we don't get a reward, we have to find the joys in creating movement, even if people don't necessarily see it or appreciate it. Then we've got the control, turning in, and the mind. So the mind is not going to help right now. Yeah, the mind is an endless maze that will twist and turn things around. And really, we don't have control, especially with all of the climate change happening. And we have to really turn in and go to a meditative place that learns how to surrender into the big, big, big changes that we're going to have to do in order to reestablish a better balance. And then we've got the Four of Feathers, the Empress, and the Seven of Rainbows. And it says, again, our inner child probably has more answers than our inner adult. We need to learn to be generous and to give back. And we also need to remember that sometimes when we dance, the answers come to us in the chaos and the flow and learning to move with the chaos and flow through dance. So this month, September. 2023. We feel the turning of the seasons, but for many of us, there is still a lot to be concerned about. With the tower card rearing its head, I am concerned for the fire season that is clearly challenging many in the Northwest and Canada, but we are also feeling into the hurricane season, and I send much protection to all those in those zones uh, that are at risk. With climate change, what used to be predictable now seems wilder and more random, so those that are in certain places need to err on the side of caution. Seems that much is going to happen that can be costly with certain discards asking us to hold out our hands and ask for help from others. But there is power in finding and connecting to our community and our pack. With the Wolf Card Center Stage, we have all those around us that can help and protect if we are willing to work together. The wolf within each of us is the pathfinder. It helps us remember that family matters and that loyalty is in our blood when we remember that all life can be an ally if we are willing to share new ideas with others and allow the wisdom and teaching that they have acquired to help us along our path. We have been called to have willingness and courage to take as we face an unpredictable world that continues to show us 
that we really don't have the control we think. There is a rhythm and a rhyme to the chaos if one is willing to listen with one's heart and not the mind. The mind will pull us into hopelessness if we let it, and that is why listening with our right brain rather than our left brain is advised this month. Dreams are to be listened to and know that the obvious is less powerful than the undercurrents that give life and substance to instinct. This month, many may feel as if we are inside a tornado, but we can still see light if we look up and into that storm. This month can feel exhausting, but it can also show us that we, when we have the intention to change, then the universe will give us the energy that we need to find the path of least resistance. This month, find the answers in the silence. Find the answers in the dances that twirl like the flow of the winds. Realize that gains can be gotten if we are less interested in financial reward and instead move towards what gives us joy in each moment. Thanks, everyone.